Ian. We've begun. How you doing, buddy? It's the Apex Adjacent Podcast, the world's greatest, the universe's, the greatest automotive podcast in the known universe. I'll hit it sometime, buddy. Yeah. I'll hit it sometime. Yeah. 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 Um, I am well. How are you? Hanging in there, man. Hanging in there. Doing all right. I've been uh, beep beeping around in my little Fiat since I got it all back together. So I'm in a good mood, man. I saw it. It looks great. It's all buttoned up. Yep. It's all just ready to go. There's the, a faint whiff of coolant. So we'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. But I mean, you know. That's was- just because I was at your house <laughs> recently and I just kind of leave that lingering uh-huh. feeling of dread and unease for every <laughs> automotive person I'm behind such, me. Awake. I'm such a fool for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, that's anyway. a, cran- a cranberries lyric reference. Do you, do, oh. do you have to let it linger? Yeah. Okay. Oh, gonna- oh let it linger. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it. Nobody wants that. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. That is, that is, I will say, the biggest karaoke swing. Yeah. That's doing, a a cran- I- doing a cranberry song as an American. That's, right? a, that's a big swing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't do that. It, gun to your head. You have to do karaoke. You can pick any song in the universe. Mm-hmm. It's not an instrumental. What are you doing? You know, it's also a very big swing, but usually at this point, I'm pretty inebriated. I was going to say, yeah, you can have as much alcohol as you want. And it seems like a good idea. It's one of those ones that seems like a good idea, but it's actually really difficult to pull off, which is uh, Say It Ain't So. Oh, by, okay. By, by Weezer. Okay. It's one of the few songs that I know all of the lyrics to. As you should. It's a great as song. Should. It's a great song. And uh, and it's a good sing along song, so I probably won't be the only one singing, which is yeah. another factor. But it's actually pretty. I don't know for me at least. Every song is hard for me to sing, but um, you know that would be one. What okay. about you? What would you do? I have t- I have two choices depending on the vibe of the room. Okay. okay. First up, it's it's a surefire hit. House of Pain, jump around. Okay. Okay. Right? That's good. Right. Um, and then second, if like the mood is like off and it's weird or something like that, uh huh. Welcome to the jungle by Guns N' Roses. I just okay. go in with the big, you know, welcome, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Whenever I hear that song now, I can only think of the Patton Oswalt thing, <laughs> yeah. where, he talk, where he talks about Axel, fat Axel Rose and <laughs> him panting. Oh my god, it's so right? funny. Yeah, I was at. I was at a weird dinner um, <laughs> a few months ago. I met a friend in Baltimore. Okay. And it turned, it was like, we needed some place that was open late. And it was this like weird steak place. And it was like, <laughs> this, it was like crazy expensive, but like really bad food. It and was they a had front. Car- <laughs> yeah. And they had karaoke. It was weird. Okay. And there was this like, table of and it was like one of those things where like the host was doing a lot of the singing oh and yes yes. it's more a vanity project for them yeah because everyone else in the restaurant was like what why (laughs) i'm eating like i'm eating a 60 dollar steak why is there somebody singing karaoke 10 feet for me nice (laughs) nice anyway so this older woman like in her 50s like late 50s i guess gets up there and start singing Creep. Oh, by Radiohead. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Which is, again, a big swing. Big swing. Big swing. And it doesn't, it's one of those ones where, like, it doesn't seem like it until you get pretty deep into right. the song. But immediately, you know, like, you can extrapolate out, like, oh, <laughs> right. this isn't going to go well in like right. two verses. This is going right. to be real bad. <laughs> and so, like, I just, like, got my chair. <laughs> spun around to fix the front so I could see, like, the impending disaster. It was pretty hilarious. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's uh creep or what's that one? Um, Oh God. Uh, they did uh loving you. Like, um, mini Ripperton. Uh, it's oh, it's another 90s one, right? Beautiful. No, it's like, it's a classic, like 60, 70 song is oh, easy. Okay. Cause you're beautiful. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yeah, nice man. Nice. Yeah, you want to stay away from the weird late night steakhouses. You need if you're doing a late yeah. night restaurant, it has to be of an ethnicity that is not American. 
I agree. Yes. Right. I would normally. Uh, yes. I I agree with that. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. You got to go across the board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a that's a good that's a good rule of thumb. Or pizza. <laughs> yes. Pizza. Yes. Pizza is the go. other uh, acceptable late yes. night food. Right. Yes. Yeah. This is a car show. Car show. Car show. I actually have. Oh wait, you have a you have a funny story you wanted to start with. I I do. So I so I was tootling around in the in the Fiat. The only thing I have left to do besides maybe fix a cool leak is uh, get an alignment. So I called the alignment shop that does like race alignments to whatever spec you want, right? I got those camber bolts installed, um, and so I'm ready to go. Uh, so when I was calling the alignment shop, you know, like, what kind of car, you know, blah, blah, blah. She put me on hold after I told her what kind of car. I think they had to ask because on their website, they didn't, they had tons of brands listed. Fiat's not one of them. Ah. Right. But they've done, mm-hmm. they've done the nugget before. So we, so we line it up, right. <laughs> and just as we're wrapping up the call, you know, in call pleasantries, I hear, <laughs> I hear this in the background of the call <laughs> i know i can't hear it i'm sorry you can't hear it oh no, no. it didn't come through it was the no. sad trombone noise like, like that <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it was like her phone notification or something like that i was like oh this is this bodes well for me yeah. <laughs> thanks yeah. for calling wah, wah, wah. yeah i i feel like like answering phones at a car repair place, that's not an appropriate ringtone to have because you're <laughs> like we talked about with Andrea when we had her on, like yes. you're sometimes shepherding people through some pre deep stuff, right? You'd be like having a doctor come into the, to the room and you're like, well, I'm afraid there's some bad news. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. you know, well, I got to take this. Um, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> You don't want that. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that's that's my alignment shop story. We'll see how it goes. It, does, is it coming through? Oh, that worked. Okay. I turned that noise worked. cancellation off. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that worked. Yeah. That's hilarious. <laughs> um yeah. Well, I have actual car sort of content. Okay. Tonight. I have two things. Okay. So um first We've been. I was uh, up working on the the race truck a little bit this week. Yes. Yeah. So, basically, the update is so the for anyone who remembers, I, I I'm on a lemons team with an S10. We have a V8 in it, and it went a little flamey last time. <laughs> Got a little crispy. Got a little crispy. <laughs> a little extra crispy. And so now we're take we took we're taking that engine out, which is a Vortec V8, and we're putting in an LT1 from. Okay. Uh, from a caprice okay um and the idea is that we're not going to have that weird um oil filter relocation problem that we did with the vortex and gotcha. a bunch of other benefits too of like tuning and all that sort of stuff anyway so we were getting the i was up helping because i'm not qualified to do much else i was helping <laughs> degrease the engine and get it ready because it was disgusting yeah that um, oil leak from like the timing cover and stuff was just everywhere. well this is a different engine with a oh, different this oil is the Caprice leak. engine. Okay, gotcha. Yes, because gotcha. okay. the engine is out. The Vortec is out. Gotcha. And so we got to see in real good detail, like, all the places that got a little crispy. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. And then, um, and now, so we're getting, we're prepping it to go back in the, in the truck. Okay. Um, yeah. And then the other thing that I'm doing, so I will say, decreasing engine, not that much fun. <laughs> no. But. I did get to flush the coolant passages out with a pressure washer. Oh. And that was, that was fun. Yeah. What kind of gunk came out of there? Oh, it was real gross. Oh, oh it smelled so bad. Because this is like a, you know, like a Caprice engine from the nineties or whatever. Yeah. doesn't smell good. You know? Was, yeah. Yeah. It's a oh. lemons car. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean the colors that came out of it. Yeah. Just all of them. <laughs> and then like the the pl- the drainage plugs for the block uh-huh. were plugged from all, my, all the like sediment and stuff oh and so okay. we had to like get those uh cleaned out and all that um, wow because it like it wouldn't let water into that jacket at all and so like the whole bank of cylinders wouldn't get coolant oh, okay gotcha um, yeah it was pretty crazy um to see 
all of that stuff come out. Yeah. 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 Right. I and mean, then, I basically gave the engine a colonoscopy <laughs> or a, 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 what it would not a colonoscopy, but a, uh, um, Oh, uh, it's, uh, oh, crap. like it's bad and where they were, um, where people were flushing their colons yeah, out a few um, years ago. Uh, colonic. Yes. Colonic. There we yes. Go. I gave yep. I gave an LT one a colonic. <laughs> it's what happened. <laughs> Doctor Ian, and I mean, I looked like I had because I it was just just right. covered in stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was real gross. Um, but then so then the other thing that we're doing is, and I've been consulting with our new friend of the show, um, Peter Holdreth. Yes, on some battery stuff. So I'm learning about batteries no we're way building, we're building an ups for some of the electronics in the, uh-huh. in the thing and we're using joe found um have you heard of the open ups project it's like no. by mini box no so mini box who makes like little industrial pcs or whatever um they have a thing called open ups and you just get like a board okay um and you put like whatever your input voltage is in you put a battery connect a battery to it and a and an out okay. um yeah if you just look at open google open ups all one word mini box okay all right yeah um and open then ups. yeah that yeah. one right there okay yep wow. and so that's exactly what i have that little board right there okay and so i'm trying to learn remember all of my basic electronics before i blow this up <laughs> yep all your what I'm juggling yeah attempting to do uh-huh yeah. uh, but basically the idea is like during pit stops and red flags and you yeah. know other times when we're going to have like 20 30 minutes with no power yeah we want like the modem to stay up and like the right. pc to stay up because that's yeah um, you know those take a long time to to come back up so so yeah dude that's a awesome. fun little project yeah no kidding that's great yeah, this is doing it with sweet. all of my free time. Any input, any output, any battery. That's really cool, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, so we're kind of leaning towards lithium iron phosphate. Okay. And that was Joe's idea. And I, I like I like that idea because it's lighter than lead acid. Uh-huh. Uh, it's less sparky and burny than lithium right. ion, which is good because it's gonna be right next to the driver. Right. Um, and so yeah, we're for whatever reason, we're really sensitive to that now. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like you know, yeah, yeah. right. You've learned something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And this, yeah, I don't know if you've ever looked at mini box before, but they never have some cool, they have some cool shit in here, like these little okay. um, mini ITX uh, box enclosures that they sell. Okay, they're pretty cool. Oh wow, they have all sorts of cool stuff. Oh sweet. Okay. Yeah. Oh nice, man. Mm-hmm. that's really cool dude yeah that's a great idea that's gonna make the truck so much better yeah we're doing a lot of stuff to make it better hopefully we get it done in time to actually race it yeah because you have what deadline how many weeks Ooh. yeah i got a calendar Not many you, you race in june three three weeks three weeks ian mm-hmm. whoa buddy okay yeah. wow all yeah. right and this is a Real pretty tight. busy busy work season for you as well, right? Extremely. Yeah. So, so I was going to say, woo! yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's not like you have any family stuff going on. Yeah, it's just uh, it's <laughs> it's full on right now. But yeah, yeah, you know. Well, that's really fun, cool that you stuff. and Peter have connected over that. Yeah. Yeah, I was basically just harassing him, asking him about battery. Okay. <laughs> like what kind of batteries I should use and that sort of thing. Nice. So anyway, yeah. Um. It's a pretty cool little project. I'll keep everyone updated. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's so cool, man. Nice. Mm-hmm. Right on, dude. Yeah. Uh, it, um, it, oh, I, go ahead. I was going to ask, is that the only garage update? Is Proxy Garage, or do you have your own garage updates? Uh, no, that's it. It's just okay. the, just the, the race team stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I got to see if I can pull up that picture that you sent me of the race truck in its, with no engine in it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'll have to see if I can find that. Um oh yeah, there <laughs> there's your there's your codball uh <laughs> tweet. That was a good one, Ian. That was a good Thank one. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, for sure. Okay, here here it is. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. There be the crispies. Yep. 
Yeah. Yep, right in the right in the tunnel there. Yeah. It's so great cars that have the entire front end that come off like that, right? Mm-hmm. Like I was yep. when I was doing all the autocross prep for the Fiat, I didn't need to take like the radiator and stuff off, but I did anyway, just because it made everything so much easier. Yeah, well, especially on that thing, you got like no room. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it it's that kind of stuff that like you invest like maybe like forty five minutes up front that like makes every subsequent job like fifteen to an hour faster. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. And that's the sort of decision making that I lack when I do this. <laughs> But I do this stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'll get, I'll fight with, you know, getting my hand mm-hmm. around a thing that I could have just removed in 20 minutes, but I'll fight with that for an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough, man. I, I get caught up in that too. Right. Yeah. 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 It, what's obstacle fixation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> really bad. Yeah. Right on. Well, man, I, I'm really looking forward to, to you getting some stick time in the truck and watching Me you race this too. season, man. One of my favorite things to do is watch my boy race. And I didn't get to do enough of that last season. So yeah. Yep. Right? yep. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully soon. Yeah, absolutely. Right on, man. Um, yeah, so I also have one other piece of car content that I think is good as, up at the top of the show because I think okay. it's a good discussion point. Yeah. Um, so I've had, for whatever reason, a bunch of stuff into my periphery. You know when, like, some things kind of, like, come to your periphery and, like, from out of context, a bunch of different angles all at the same time and it's the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Just like a lightning strike or, like, just, like, serendipitous, yeah. like... St- yeah, right. For whatever reason, I've been thinking a lot about the Polestar 1 lately. Really? Yep. Okay. I saw one on the road. Okay. And I was like, oh, man, that thing looks really cool. It it was the answer on the car hurdle on the car thing. That the was other the other thing. one. It was yep. on yep. the, yeah, it was, it was the, the answer on that quiz. Yeah. And then Chris Harris just came out with a video on it today because he bought one. Oh, okay. Um. And I I was thinking about it like, oh, it's good that this thing is so kind of weird and nobody really is buying it because that means it's going to depreciate. Right, right. And I was like, there should be a German word for like loving something, but also hoping that nobody else does. So that way it depreciates and then you can swoop in in 10 years and buy one. Yeah. Yeah. Honda you know? CRZ itis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Stuff like that. Like, right. I Where think it doesn't make sense new. Like, it doesn't make practical sense new. Right. Right. There's better things to do with your money. Right. Right. Well, I think like the BMW i8 is sort of that way. Like, yep. this is like, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of examples of it where, you know, down the road that this thing is going to be as a resale proposition, really interesting. Yes. Yeah. And and it's not the kind of vehicle that you would worry about, say like a seven series BMW where you're just like, Oh no, like this, there's like, it may be cheap, but there's going to be so much that I have to do to keep it running. And I may yeah. not even be able to get it running this, like this kind of car, like a CRZ stuff like that. I feel like they, like they fall on that other side of the reliability scale. Right. This is supercharged and turbocharged, so there's might be. Oh, I thought this was electric. It's a, it's a hybrid. Oh, okay. So it's got the twin charge four cylinder from Volvo, okay. but then it also has electric motors. And when it's in full hybrid mode, it's 600 horsepower. Oh Jesus! Okay, all yeah. right. And it's a coupe. <laughs> like that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. I really. It's really interesting, and I love the way I it looks. It I think electric it, for some reason. I the Polestar it. Two is electric. Oh, it's full see, electric. There we go. Okay, look at that big body boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's really cool, and yeah. I think it has a little bit of like. I mean, obviously, it looks like modern Volvos, but like, yeah. it looks like sort of. It kind of has a, a little bit of like a '80s BMW Six Series to it. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. With that the the line of the roof yeah um yeah i think it's really cool nice. but yeah i was th- i was thinking what other cars inspire that and i was like and 
anticipation depreciation anticipation depreciation yeah yeah what what cars are you looking forward to like to a dr- just a collapse in price because like the, we're seeing a lot now that things just aren't depreciating right right yeah the fact that i still see fiat 500 bars for over like 13 14 grand online is mm-hmm. insane right um oh gosh yeah i don't know i haven't really thought about this this is but it's a good i'd say like a volkswagen golf r Mm -hmm. um but i don't know if it would depreciate at the same rate as something that was like more obscure like those are though the early golf r's are pretty cheap i think they they may be cheaper than my car which is doesn't make sense well yeah yeah but um, your car has a has weird cachet Mm-hmm. Well deserved, I will say. Yeah, yeah, but it's still strange. Like it's a little weird. Yeah, yeah, um, mm. yeah. I don't know. The CRZ. What else? Yeah, I don't know. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. But that's a that's a good. If anybody else can think of one, drop it in the YouTube comments or send it to us. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Right. What do yeah. you? Lo- yeah. What do you love? And you wish other people were into, but not a lot because right. You want us to depreciate because it's a fine line. Because if a, too few people are into it, then it's super rare and you won't be able right. to find one. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird that like you're, you're kind of, you're able to get this with more of a niche manufacturer, right? Like I think when, mm-hmm. when Honda or Toyota or Nissan step out and do a weird thing, right? Like the uh, Nissan Murano cross Cabriolet or something like that, right? Yeah. Like when they go weird for a brand, you, you're like, well, at least it's still like, I can still get parts at AutoZone, right? Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That's good. Yeah, that's a good looking car, man. I think it's super cool. Yeah, yeah. I've been just thinking about it. And they're still like, you know, hundred thousand dollars, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that's never gonna happen with any Porsche, right? Right. You'd stay away from any Mercedes or BMW. Well, Mercedes do depreciate a lot oh no they do depreciate a lot but like would you want to buy one it depends you'd have to, i think there's a sweet spot for used mercedes i think those like sl 600s i think it's the like the naturally the, aspirated ones not the twin turbo. right yeah it's yeah. The, exactly it's got to be the one step down because the amgs are always going to be yes a lot right right yeah but then if you go one step down you don't want a base model right Right. You want like one down from the top. Yeah. You know, just like in the like uh, the five forty eyes uh-huh. that everyone was buying. The, yes. Those, yeah. The E thirty nine five forties that yep. people were buying. Yep. Still has a V eight. It's just yep. not the M five. Right. And right. you get like a it's a huge premium to go from the five forty to the M five. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's a cool ass car, Ian. Super cool. Yeah, I've yeah. just been thinking about, about it a lot. Pull like, no one, all angles. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I yep. I did not get it when it was on the the car the hurdle the car hurdle. Yeah, I didn't get it either. Yeah. 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 I have always forget it has that like super flat hip at the back. Oh, okay. And yeah. like that because the first clue was the gas cap. Yeah, and it was a rear view. Yeah, yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. It's an angular gas cap. There's like a, like yeah. a forty five degree angle on that thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Nice, man. That was it. Huh. What? I, no, not the Civic Si. Maybe certain Civic Si's. Hmm. I mean, those those ones with the with the dash shifter were, I mean, four grand at one point. So, yeah. 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 E- eager depreciation anticipation mm-hmm. yeah well, i guess eager and anticipation are redundant so yeah no you're right yeah depreciation anticipation yes yeah right i accidentally wrote on our notes <laughs> that's perfectly fine yeah nice man um what do you want to do next? You want to do? Uh, you have you have a couple of things on here. Yeah, I got uh, our our buddy Dana left us a voicemail. Do you want to hear Dana's voicemail? I would love to hear Dana's. I think voicemail. you're gonna like it. Here you go. Here's our buddy Dana down in Florida. Here we'll we'll hide pole stars. It'll just be you and me. There we go, buddy. Hey, it's Dana from Florida. Uh, just giving you guys a quick call. Um, let you know I took my six year old ace autistic son. Uh, 
go-karting for the first time, we had a freaking blast. The carts were terrible. The track was bumpy, but we loved it. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Thank you guys. You all have a good one. Keep on the uh, greatest automotive podcast in the known universe. Thank you guys. Bye. We love you, Dana. Amazing. Yeah. Yes, take your kids go karting. It's so much fun, right? The cart, the track doesn't have to be good. No. The carts don't have to be good. No, but if if you're in a thing and they're in a thing, and you have control of those things, even loosely, right? You're yeah. gonna have a great time. Yeah, it's great. It's so much fun. It's yeah. it's truly a blast. It is expensive. Yes. but it's fun. Yeah, very fun. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, my youngest is about to turn five, and I'm very excited that he gets to go go karting. So that's going to be happening very soon. Okay. I want to get into this. So given your kids' personalities, (laughs) how do you think, how do you think Gus will compare to Nico? Yeah. Like when, because Nico started karting when he was five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Gus is either going to be chaos (laughs) or uninterested. And there's going to be no, there's going to be no in between. Okay. He is a he is a man of leisure. <laughs> he enjoys a, he enjoy, he enjoys a cabana. He enjoys a, a, a day in in jammies. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Whereas Nico is like, what are we doing today? How come we're not doing more? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Okay. Okay. And Gus is sort of the opposite, but he's also an agent of chaos. <laughs> yes, so, <yeah. laughs> um, if he's into something, he's very into it. Okay. Um, he does not like racing at all. He doesn't like watching Formula One. Nico and I watch well, Formula One. I mean, I can't play. I'm on Gus's side here. Yeah. He does like one aspect of Formula One and only one thing. It's what he refers to as the beer fight at the end. <laughs> when they're throwing champagne at each When they spray the champagne. He only, that's the only thing he's interested in watching. <laughs> so he will literally come up while I'll be watching and he'll be like, let me know when the beer fight's on. <laughs> And then he'll walk out. That sounds more like a NASCAR celebration than it does at one. But that's so great. Yeah. 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 Nice. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm hopefully he doesn't expect to have one at the end of his carding session. That's funny. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, he's he's ex- he says he's excited to go. So we'll okay. we'll see. Okay. Yeah. I th- I think it's so interesting that you get to see both of your kids' personalities like through this carding lens and like see how they take to it. Like, yeah, it's so great. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. So. Right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> right on. Okay. Anyway, thank you, Dana, yeah. for that for that voicemail. Absolutely, it's, like, it's such a fun time to take little kids carding because right. It's yeah, it's just like seeing little kids on skis. Yes. You know, yes. like it's one. It's a true joy to yes. see like a little like three-year-old just like bouncing down the mountain on a <laughs> tiny pair of skis it's hilarious right it's, it's yeah so like cute. arms out like just pizzaing straight down the hill I yes smile on the face every time with a harried parent trying to <laughs> yes. trying like how to keep up with them yeah right yep mm-hmm. yep calling them buddy yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. pizza buddy. pizza pizza buddy pizza buddy pizza buddy <laughs> They have to put a positive word in there just so that they know everything's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. That's yeah. exactly uh-huh. what's happening there. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, uh, so speaking of Dana, Dana sending us beep beep on big boy. Similar to your Polestar 1 thing where like you're kind of, you're getting stuff, yeah. like the same thing from a few different angles simultaneously, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So Dana sent you some more beep beeps that we're going to play on the show sometime right yes but beep beep is kind of getting out there not i mean obviously we're not influencers and no one listens to this yeah but the comedian kyle kanane just yes. had his new special mm-hmm. uh which you can watch for free on youtube we'll put a link to kyle kanane's special in the description of the show it's fantastic you have to watch it have you seen it yet ian I haven't seen the whole thing. I have seen this clip that yes. you're about to talk about, though. Yes, yes. So, um, so uh, the special's put out by uh, like a label or somebody called 800 Pound Gorilla. Mm-hmm. What they do is they put it out on YouTube. You can pay for access to it, and then a month after it launches, it's free on YouTube for everyone. 
right? So you can watch tons of 800 pound gorilla, you know, content mm -hmm. on YouTube. Great. Kyle Kinane, but he has a story about a beep beep. I'm a big boy truck in this special. And it's so fucking good. I yeah. don't want to ruin any part of it whatsoever because he does everything from it, like embodying, like just the id of a beep beep. I'm a big boy person to mm -hmm. like an actual real life encounter with a beep beep. I'm a big boy person. And like the whole arc of it mentally. Right? Yeah. He's both a, a, a beep beep er <laughs> and a beep beep e. <laughs> Yes. In this bit. And it's yes. Great. Yeah. So, so we, you have to watch. Yeah. Um, oh, what is it called? It, oh, it's called shut, uh, shocks and struts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shocks and struts is the name of the special. So yeah, like I said, we'll put it, we'll put a link in the YouTube video. It's, you, I mean, you just got to watch the whole thing. It's so great. Yeah. It's very funny. So yeah. Okay. yeah. We're, we're pausing that video cause we don't want to play out our, pro our podcast, but yes. <laughs> yeah it's so oh god it's so good okay it's towards the back end of his special it's one of the things that kind of wraps the show so you, you'll have to wait a while but it's a great journey getting there because he's a fucking fantastic comedian i love i love kyle canane he's yeah hilarious. he's been hilarious for i mean years and years and years yeah. never stopped being funny yeah yeah right yeah. like yeah it's so he's been good. one of my favorites for a long time a hundred percent yeah like yeah. him maria bamford like the like there's a few comedians I think that like have really like stayed so hilarious. Like just I, mm -hmm. like everything they do is always so yep. good. Yeah. 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 Bill Cosby. <laughs> <K>. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Dane cook. <laughs> oh, just all of them. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, anyway, anyway, Ian, any who's let's see. Okay. So we got, what else we got? We you have a license plate game for us, buddy. I and, do have and, a license plate game, and I'm gonna want a, an album of the week from you. I haven't had a chance to listen to New Seventy Five because uh, we just recorded an episode recently, so I haven't had a chance to listen to it. It was yes. Bandcamp Friday since we uh, since we last spoke. And, oh, and Pappy bought like a hundred and forty dollars worth of music, so I've had some things to go through since nice. then. Yeah. Okay. Lots of drums okay. and lots of bass and lots of drums and bass. So yeah. Lots of drums, lots of bass. Yeah. Yep. Uh well what do you want to do first? You want to do license plate game or let's do an album of the week and then we'll close it out with the license plate. That game. sounds good, buddy. That sounds good. Okay. So I don't know if you're familiar with this one. So um this this one is one that I just kind of come back to uh, every so often, and it's just a it's just a lovely place to be. Oh, okay, a lovely place to be. Uh, it's going to be, and this is not a super obscure one. This is a pretty. This was a pretty big album when it came out, but it's from the eighties, nineteen ninety, nineteen ninety. Heaven or Las Vegas by Cocktoo Twins. Okay. Do you know this album at all? I do not. Okay, so. I was very late to this. I got into this a few years ago. I don't know. I don't know. A while ago, but w way later than I should have. Okay. But this That's is okay. Elizabeth Elizabeth Frazier from Mass Attack. Oh, who sings okay. on she sings on mezzanine and stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is her. Uh, this oh, is her band. Okay. So she's the lead singer on this. Okay. And it's like a it's like a it was one of those missing link albums for me. Gotcha. Where like especially for like for massive attack and Portishead stuff. Like you, you listen to that. And you're like, where did this come from? Right. 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 Because you have kind of like new wave stuff, or at least I was aware of like new wave stuff, but like, I didn't know about cocktoo twins and Kate Bush. And those are sort of like to me and like some of the like shoe early shoegaze stuff from yeah. in England. And I like, didn't know, about that so i just thought like people just jumped from like from like flock of seagulls to <laughs> yeah to the trip up and it didn't make sense to me right. but this sort of like filled in the gaps okay okay um so you can kind of hear that kind of that progression a little bit better okay um, and it's also just a really pretty soothing album nice okay yeah nice okay i'm really looking forward to listening to this yeah yeah, 
Yeah. It's very, it's very ethereal and just sort of chill. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, I guess they call it dream pop on, dream pop, in, yeah. on Wikipedia, which is, yeah. If you like uh, like beach house or anything like that, you'll, you'll like this. Okay. I will report back for sure on this one, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate this. Yeah. Links will be in Apple music. Spotify links will be in the YouTube description. Yeah, for sure. Nice, man. It's always great when you like, I, I never like, I never, um, you know, look down on somebody that just had like a blind spot in music. I'm like, if you just discovered Aphex twin today, right? Like, well, there's just so much. Right. Right. If you've just discovered a TV show, a movie, like yeah. an album, right? Like we're glad you're here. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I, and I love, I love filling in gaps. Yeah. You'd love that connective tissue, man. I, I really, really do like, you know, figuring out and, and a lot of times it'll, and sometimes it'll even be the point where like, there's something in like a genre of music that I don't like. Like, um, mm -hmm. I've used to have a really hard time with like, like any drum sound that sounded remotely eighties ish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just like but that like, 808 snare. Yeah. Yeah, but then like I heard a couple of things like where you could figure, you could hear like where it came from and like yeah. You know the early kind of mm -hmm. um uses of it and you're like, "Oh, okay, that sort of makes more sense now." And yeah. I don't know. It just like flips a switch in my brain sometimes. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Nice. But yeah, this album's awesome. Okay. It's like okay. an all-time great. That's so good. Nice, man. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to listening to this. Like awesome. we're we're getting some awesome weather. Like, is this like, is this a nighttime windows down kind of album? Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Driving through like a big city with, uh, with, with like kind of like a, a cool summer, yeah. cool springtime. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's a good nighttime driving though. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's a good spot for that. Okay. Nice dude. Nice man. Yeah. Right on. Um, um Oh, what do you I, think? Oh, I did ahead. want to mention real quick another thing that, like, besides the Kyle Kinane thing that uh, I that we like, mm -hmm. right? Uh, one of our absolute favorite comedic persons in the universe, John Daly, yes, has a podcast. It's I think maybe run like twenty or thirty episodes now. It's with him and another friend of his, also named John, both J O N, right? Uh -huh. And it's called Two Johns Don't Make a Right. And yeah. they, they drive around Los Angeles with a guest and they don't take any right hand turns. <laughs> and episode one is them and Steve Agee, who is fantastic. Um, nice. So, yeah. So check out the, the two Johns don't make a le don't two Johns don't make a, a right podcast. Yeah, that's really funny. Right. Yeah. John Daly. Yeah. And hero dream bucket list guest on this. Yes, show. if anybody out there knows how to get in touch with John Daly, please make it happen. Yeah, yeah. him, Manzukas, Heather Ann Campbell. Yeah, there's yeah, River Butcher. There's there's yeah. some out there that mm -hmm. got dream guests. Yeah. 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 Also Fred Durst. Yeah, absolutely. Remember when he was tweeting the stuff about like station wagons? He's still every once in a while. I mean, I I still feel like he's probably a garbage human being, but he has this like weird thing about station wagons and I'm, I'm partial to anybody who likes a station wagon. So I've actually heard a story on another podcast about how Fred Durst is not a, a awful dude. Oh. Like, he hosts a big jazz night in LA, like once a week or once a month, something huh. like that. And like, and he doesn't like perform or anything like that. Like, it's not like of anything. He just loves jazz and wants more people exposed to jazz. Like wants to expose more people to jazz. So so strange right yeah the fucking nookie guy the man contains multitudes right yeah no i yeah. i would fucking love to talk to fred durst yeah yeah right mm. yeah mm. we need some we need some guests we need we some do. like not automotive world guests right yeah yeah hmm. okay well <laughs> for anyone who has imdb pro hit us up yeah exactly. <laughs> right yeah what do you say we do? We close this out with a license plate game. I would love to do a license plate game right now. Just now, Tim Apple asked me if I want to update my software right now. 
I'm yeah. gonna hit cancel on that one, Ian. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do a Mac OS update right in the middle of our show. <laughs> yes. I I'm sorry. Did, by the way, did we talk about Tim Apple waving the the checkered flag in Formula One? I don't know if we ever did, but he did it so poorly. So poorly. So bad. Right? Ugh. I yeah. just I can't every once in a while it just pops in my head that visual of him yeah. just like right. Like this, like, yeah, it was like he programmed like a Disney animatronic, like a Chuck E. Cheese robot to d- look like Tim Apple. And- Chuck E. Cheese robots have joy, though. It was like a Chuck E. <laughs> Cheese robot in a hostage situation. <laughs> he looked like he was under duress. Chuck yeah. E. Cheese robot that had been taken hostage <laughs> by the HAL 9000. <laughs> right? So bad. So bad. There's got to be a good gift that we can find. Yeah, I will say when we were in where were we? We were in Ohio. Uh-huh. Uh huh. My wife and I were in Ohio recently. Yes. Yeah. And we this is way off topic. We were driving past a Chuck E. Cheese, but it was like a very fancy looking Chuck E. Cheese. Like it had like oh. fancy like Chuck E. Cheese was written in in a in like in- a fancy script and like. <laughs> Outside looked very nice, like in different colors than I've ever seen. It, and it I was, was like, called Charles Formage. That's what I said. I was like, oh. this is like a Charles E. Cheese. <laughs> but Charles E. Formage, that's pretty funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't have fucking stepped on it. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm your yeah. punch up guy, Ian. I'm your punch up guy. Yeah. <laughs> next time next time that happens, I'll call you real quick. <laughs> I'm, Hold that button. I'm putting Ginger on speakerphone. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! Look at him wave the flag! Like, it is the least enthusiastic flag flag wave to ever happen. And yeah. like, dorky ass sunglasses. Oh my yeah. god! Right? Oh yeah! Straight from the corporate retreat. Yeah, polo oh shirt, god. the whole thing. Right? Oh, okay. We got. I got to close that. So tragic. Tab. It's sucking our soul. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> Back to Kyle Kinane. Um. Okay, license plate game. Yes, let's do a license plate game, buddy. I yeah. refilled the hopper this last big road trip. Okay. I so many license plates. Took a bunch of pictures. Okay. I got some good ones in reserve. But I had a theme that I was working on, and I got the last one on this trip. Okay. Okay. So, so good when you get that third man. Yes. Right? So this one is all, this one's called Family Haulers. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So these are you, you'll you'll see the theme emerge quickly. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So we have a maroon Chevy Suburban up top. We've got a uh, pearl white Chevy Suburban in the middle, and mm-hmm. then we've got a Subaru. Is that a Outback an wagon? Outback. It's outback an Outback. Wagon. Okay. All right. And then these license plates. Oh boy. Okay. Mom to many. M O M to M N Y. Mom yeah. to money. Mom to many. Mm-hmm. Okay. Could be either. Yeah. Mom's bus. M O M Z B U S. Okay. And then <laughs> this last one. Yeet wagon. Y E E T W A G N. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeet wagon. Mm hmm. <laughs> I, I have a vanity plate that would be so good with a mom too many. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we could have like somehow had like a third party like proctor yeah. these for us. Yeah. 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 But anyway. Um, okay. Oh, man. Yeet wagon. What is yeet wagon going to be on? Oh, yeah. we got to do some zooms and enhances, Ian. I see some got context it. clues. Okay, so we got an Alabama plate on the maroon Suburban. Mm -hmm. Nothing spectacular other than a trailer hitch. Yep, not a thing. But the white Suburban, oh boy. There are Nintendo, like, bomb bombs? Is that what those are? Or what? They kind of look like the Bomberman guys a little bit. But Yeah. yeah, there's like little characters, like instead of like the stick figure family. Yeah. So, yeah. and I, th- I think some of them are animals. Yes, I think you're right. So we have we have it looks like we have a dad and a mom. Okay, yeah. fuck the patriarchy. Um, and then and then 
a, a a a girl, a girl, a boy, a girl, a boy. So that's five kids, possibly. And then the animals start. Maybe and then, yeah. there's a lot of ears or yeah. pigtails. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. So then, yeah, maybe seven. Yeah, one, two, three, seven, eight, eight other maybe animals. It's too many children and or animals. They've gone past the center of the back win- window, past the Chevy logo. Yeah. Like, I mean, they are filling this shit up. That is mm-hmm. mom too many right there. Okay. Yeah. That's a Michigan plate. That is a mom too many. Okay. Oh, we have some interesting stuff on the Subaru. We've it's got the some front of the su- it's the front of the Subaru. Yeah, we've got some big LED lights on the mirrors. Huh. Okay, but that's really about it. I think there's a custom badge as well. Oh yeah, mountains. It's got yeah. mountains on the Subaru badge. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh boy, but mom's bus could be all of the stuff. All, the middle one too. Okay, we're. I'm gonna stick with it. Mom to many is gonna be the white suburban. Okay. Okay. I'm thinking, mom's bus is the maroon suburban. Okay. And Yeet Wagon is going to be the Subaru, because I I think that the Yeet Wagon is is the only one that wants to identify as a wagon. Okay. The rest do not. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So that's that's where I've landed there. Okay. I'm I'm okay. Na- I'm navigating to the family haulers or to All the right. Dave Don't Look folder. Okay. Do you want to change your answer? No. Okay. I'm I'm breaking the seal in. Okay, here we go. Family haulers answers. <laughs> Dave, I have good news. I got them all right. You did get them all right. Oh, my God. All those fucking children and animals in the back of a suburban Ian. Yeah, I saw that this last week. And then Yeet Wagon I've had for (laughs) so long. (laughs) How Uh, could you not put that in your folder? I've been trying to find a way to use it for a long time. (laughs) And finally, I I was like, this will work. Yep. Yep. I like that. I like that. I button. don't really I don't fully understand what a yeet wagon is. <laughs> right. But I kind of want one. <laughs> I think you have to pay extra. <laughs> I yeah. Yeah. She gave me the old yeet wagon. <laughs> is that a dealer installed option? <laughs> yes, I'd like to Has make to do my... with the undercarriage. <laughs> I'd like to make my Subaru extra yeet, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Um, Ian, that's pretty good. Pretty Thank good. You. Thank, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh boy. boy. Dave. Yeah. I think we done did a car show. I think we did, buddy. I think this we was did like a, a tactical show. strike of a car show. It was. It was. We had only a few little asides. Yes. <laughs> I didn't I didn't subject the listeners to the story of my dream that I had last night. <laughs> no. I just, I gave that to you before we started. Thank you for the special gift of that, Ian. Yeah. We kept it. We kept it tight. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tonight. Uh, if people enjoyed this extra tight show, what what should they do? Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Send us vanity plates. Uh, 720-515-1391. If you want them to go to me or, or email them to apexadjason at gmail.com. Slide into Twitter and Instagram DMs if you want Ian to get them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Follow us over there. Tell friends, you know, do it. Yeah. Tell friends, tell yeah. friends. That's what I, that's what I want to hear yeah. in real life. Go outside. Mm, uh, no, and then <laughs> no, just tell a virtual. random person about how your friends, Ian and Dave <laughs> want to have a yeet wagon. Don't you? <laughs> a three way yeet wagon. Them? I don't know. Upon, anyway, upon them. <laughs> yeah. A yeet wagon upon you, sir. <laughs> And a merry yeet, yeet wagon upon you. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Um, everybody, thank you. Yeet. We love you. <laughs> Goodbye.